So the second place that we went to on our Blue Ridge expedition was uh, Duke's Creek Falls, which uh, that place really, really holds a special place in my heart. Um, I, uh, you know, back in high school, every week I'd go there and go running, and uh, I'd be there a lot. And, you know, occasionally I take you know a girlfriend on a date. We go hiking or what have you. Um, it's really, really a special place. It's uh, there's something about it. There's something about it that you don't really get in a lot of places. Something really special that's there. Um, you know, of course, it's the water. It's the uh, the temperature change. It's the smells. It's it's everything about it that makes it a really, really cool place. Uh, lots of life there, and big variety of different things that are going on there. Um, you know, from Acidic Music Cove, you like that, uh, uh, you know, all the way to the Spray Cliffs down there. Uh, and of course, some of my personal interest, the geology uh, and geomorphologic processes that are going on there. Um, really example of, of the power of nature, and especially the power of water in shaping our, our landscape. Um, but yeah, it was a really cool, really cool trip, almost like a homecoming for me. But uh, I'll make the short and, and uh, show you some of the stuff that was going on as we went down. So uh, enjoy. Duke's Creek Falls. At the top, uh, we will be going down. I don't think. Well, I can hear the I can hear the waterfall right now. Uh, okay, so you guys probably can't. Um, but uh, we've got it down in here. Good. It's a music forest, maybe like a sub music. Uh, got a lot of hemlocks, like this guy, the eastern hemlock. You can identify the eastern hemlock by the fact okay. that it uh, on the back has two stripes on the bottom. Also, these leaves are tapered, are tapered. Uh, to a, almost a point. Good. So Eastern Hemlock's pretty common down here. Uh, I've got a red maple here. Uh, this tree right here that's coming out. This is a white pine. So this guy is a black locust tree. The bark in, is in stripes. And it's kind of a little bit quirky. Uh, got these lines of it. You can see all the way down to the down to the tree. So I can't really see his leaves from here. From a chestnut oak, which is this guy right here, just to the left of the sign. Uh, probably backlit for that, but but uh, kind of. Thick, thickest in the middle, pointed at the end, kind of rounded edges. So, so we're on the trail in Duke's Creek. Uh, it's gorgeous out here. I've got stuff like this beside me. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, we're coming into a kind of a dry music, and it's very acidic uh, soil. Huge, huge white pines. I mean, these things are monsters. I mean, that's probably 60, 70 feet at least. Probably about about four feet around. Oh, at least, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful down here. These have uh, already taken root, and as the slope comes down, got a lot of uh, erosion coming down, and they've really rooted themselves onto these rocks. Looks like uh, there's a hemlock right here. Uh, yeah, eastern hemlock right here, and a white pine right here. And to give you an idea of the size of these things, 
see really big honking trees. Really cool stuff. We've got a little bit of a seat. It's the water coming out from the rocks. Coming down out of the rocks. Coming out of there. Out of the ground, hitting the rock and uh, going through the soil and coming down. Got a lot of mosses. Got a lot of mosses coming out. Look at what Willie just caught. A little ringneck snake. Got the orange underbelly. He's just chilling. He's not worried about a thing. Where are they? How could he show them? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's probably about, what, uh, eight inches long? Yep, about eight inches. Not very big in diameter. <laughs> So we're at uh, Duke's Creek Falls, you can see it just up over here, and uh, well, beautiful. It's all really nice and cool down here, there's a constant breeze flowing from the, from, the, from the movement of the water, you can actually see the trees moving down a little bit. There's a breeze coming this way off the waterfall, coming down with the water, it's really moist, and it's probably about, uh, we probably felt it about you know, 20, 30 yards back when we were getting down here, uh, how it, it dropped in temperature immediately, almost about 10 degrees. Years it took to form any bit of this, just all of it, the natural, the natural formations, even, even these little, these little dips in the rock. I mean, how many thousands of years did it take to do that sort of thing? The forces involved are just absolutely incredible. It's this little, this little oasis here. The cool, mossy areas, cool, wet. Got the spray of the waterfall. These trees, they've seen so much. Absolutely incredible. Very lucky to get to see this sort of something like this. Very amazing state we live in. So the third place we went was a beaver pond, and I've got to be honest, by this point in the day, I was kind of a little bit burned out on uh, filming and all the other stuff. But uh, it was it was really neat. We got to see some plants we had uh, up to this point um, had not really seen before, obviously because we had not encountered any wetlands. But uh, including a jewelweed, um, you know, a few lilies and and uh, uh, sedges and rushes. Got to see those sedges are have edges and rushes around, uh, as Chapman repeated. <laughs> Um, but it was really neat to see the old beaver pond and what that area, uh, what those beavers did and how they really changed the whole landscape of that little area right there and how unique those areas are as compared to some of the other places up there. Um, I've been up in the mountains a lot and I, you know, never really encountered any of these, uh, of a mountain bog or anything like that, whether it be, you know, beaver made or or otherwise. Well, I mean, both are natural, but, you know what I mean. So it was it was just pretty neat to see uh, the variety of life that was in there and, the, and really what all, you know, how one creature, uh, other than man, of course, that can uh, impact their environment uh, in the way that they do so, you know, if one little beaver can do that, and it's, it's pretty amazing to see what we do with it, uh, it comes to our impact. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Really good trip all the way around.